The definition of masculinity continues to evolve, and uh, I think the definition of masculinity in this film, uh, on one level, is is the action that my character chooses not to take. However, the bigger definition is honesty, and it's a much different story if after Pete's faithful decision, he just comes back and addresses it right away uh, and says, I am so sorry. I don't know what came over. I was, I, I made a bad decision. I was a coward. Uh, if you hate me forever, I understand. That's, I think, as mature and as masculine as you can be in a way, uh, because we really don't know how we're going to react in the face of an imminent threat like that. Uh, so, you know, I, but it, but it opens that question that I, I think is really interesting. So it's more about truth than yeah, yeah. I, I, I think I think so, and I think we're we're at a time where we're experiencing such a deficit of truth, whether it's from our leaders or you know news stories and things like that. That it's 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 interesting that on this meta level, they're having trouble really communicating with each other. Maybe we ski the beast after lunch. Pete, I don't think I'm... it'll be that challenging. It'll be fine. Is that okay? Yeah, it's, it's fine. This movie is actually about truth and telling the truth and owning the truth um, and reconciling the fact that good people make bad decisions, very good people. And it's a question of how do you, how do you recover from those bad decisions how do you own them and how do you get past them?